So Lucy, the first time you sat down with us as a Chelsea player, how do you feel? Good, yeah. It's been a good first week and the temperature's been nice, so that's <laughs> always good. Uh, but yeah, it's just been nice to get feet on the ground, in and around the training ground. Obviously, I know a lot of the players and the staff anyway, but yeah, just getting into a new routine. I mean, we have picked like the warmest day here, so it's kind of yeah. a little bit like being back in Spain, I guess, yeah. today. Talk to me a little bit about what that first week has been like. Kind of obviously, you, like you said, you know quite a lot of the players, but obviously it's a new environment. It's a new, it's a new start. How is it? Yeah, I think it's a little bit different, um, especially because although I'm new, I'm I'm a bit of an old older player, well, a lot more experience. Uh, so it's you know I want to learn the new things and the way that we work here. Um, but then there's a new manager as well, so there's different things going on which. Not, nobody's like 100% sure. And then obviously the new sign-ins as well uh, are either Spanish or French and I can speak a little bit of both languages. So I'm trying to make sure that they feel settled as well because I know how it feels to be kind of in that position. That's been kind of a role you've took on quite a lot because I remember talking to you at the World Cup at, at Round England and you were kind of saying the same thing that you've kind of took a lot of the younger players under your wing. Is that kind of the role that you enjoy at, at this point? I think that's something I've always enjoyed. Um, is realising, you know, I've been in that position before uh, and how can I make it easier? Because at the end of the day, if I can make someone's life a little bit easier and help them a little bit, that's going to make them a better player, train better, just making me better, making the team better, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I think it's if, you know, if, if you can do it, if you've got the time and the energy, then, then why not? Um, I enjoy it and I, I like then seeing the younger players or the less experienced players then flourish from, you know, maybe a small bit of my help has helped them a lot. Yeah, and obviously, like you said, it's a, it's a new era for the club under Sonia. How much kind of was she involved in, in you wanting to move to Chelsea? Yeah, well, it was, you know, I finished the season at Barca. I knew that I was ready to leave there. I was looking for another new challenge. Um, spoke to Sonia and Cami literally at the end of the Champions League final. And they were like, well, why didn't, you, why didn't you come to Chelsea? And I thought, you know, why not? Um, yeah, I think I'd spoke to them too a little bit. Um, and I knew that they wanted me to come here. And I felt like that was a, a good decision coming back to England, coming back to the best team in England, a team that I can add to both on and off the pitch, um, a team that's already set up in such a good way. It just seemed like the perfect fit. But yeah, definitely knowing Sonia and Cami made a huge difference to the decision uh, and just made the transition really easy for me. And guess what's that kind of been like? Obviously, you've had those conversations, and now you're here, kind of these past kind of, what, six weeks? How's that all been? Yeah, it's been good. Um, when I played at Lyon and, and knowing Sonia and, Cam and Cami there was that's, uh, like four years ago now, four or five years ago. Uh, so obviously they have developed as, as managers and things like that. I've also changed as a player. So although we know each other very well, it's been nice to kind of get back to knowing each other and, and what's new and what's different. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I think everybody's been enjoying having, you know, fresh faces, something new in training. Uh, you know, we're, we're still progressing. It takes time for these things. Uh, but yeah, so far it's been really good. The past six weeks has been really good. Um, knowing that I was coming here and settling in and with new people. Yeah, and you mentioned Champions League final. Obviously, you spoke before about kind of winning another Champions League with another club, the third time you could win it with, with another club. How much was that in your thought process about coming to Chelsea? Yeah, a, a big part of it. Um, having played the Champions League final and won it this year, it was like, this is the feeling that I love the most in club football. Domestically, there's nothing bigger. I want to be part of that again. Um, but also a new challenge and I'm so proud to, of my achievements and the achievements of the England team, how we change women's football through winning the Euros. I think the next step is, you know, we're making the league bigger and better every year, uh, more competitive every year. Uh, but I think that is the step that's missing as an English team to not only get to the final like Chelsea has previously, but go and win it. That's in this new kind of history of women's football. We really need a club to do that. And I think, yeah, having played against Chelsea, it's the, the team that's most prepared to do that. We just need that little bit of push to get over the line, get to finals regularly and, and win the trophy. Yeah, I guess obviously you and the WSL for a long time before it's kind of where it is now. How excited are you to kind of come back to the league and, and kind of see the, 
I guess, the heightened com like competition and how it's developed? Yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, you know, I still think the league can improve a lot more. Um, you know, obviously, in terms of media, it's one of the, if not the biggest league in the world, which also helps kind of bring in the players and everything else. But we still got a long way to go to make sure that it is the best league in the world. Um, well, I'm excited, you know, I, I follow the league. I always have, whenever I play abroad, I make sure to, to watch all, as well, as many games as possible, uh, especially the, the games of all the England girls in. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to come back, especially to be around the fans as well. You know, I, I really love the England fans so much and I know so many of them always maybe struggle to get to Barcelona, but it'd be nice to see so many fans in the stadiums, especially after the Euros. I've not witnessed that. No, I've not witnessed how women's football's changed in terms of domestically from the back of the Euros, which is obviously something that I was a part of. So I'm excited for that. First week done, got a few more days, and then it's off to the States for pre-season. It's quite a, a big thing. We've not really had the, such a big pre-season tour in the WSL in the past. Kind of how how excited are you for it? And I guess how kind of how exciting is it that we're at a place now where we're getting these kind of big preseason tours that there's a want and I guess a global attraction to, to teams like Chelsea and Arsenal that you're gonna have fans in America they're gonna get a chance to see you play. Yeah, I mean it's really exciting because you know I think people like you know, Chelsea Arsenal, it's a game we could play it twenty minutes away. Uh, but that's the the exciting thing that the game's grown all around the world that yeah, we could do that, but actually going abroad and, and meeting so many of the fans that we have abroad and that we've, we've maybe managed to connect with. It'll be amazing that they get to, to see us play there, that we get to also see them as well. Uh, New York as well, we get to visit two fantastic places, which are both places that are really growing the game uh, in the US as well. And yeah, pre-season tours are something I think that have been quite big in the men's game for a long time. Um, so it's nice that we can grow that and grow our, our fan bases. It's it's something that means a lot to us in the women's game, making sure that we can connect with all the fans from all over the world. So it's something that's really exciting for the players. So Lucy Brown's there with quite um, a statement signing for Chelsea, I suppose, in this post Emma Hayes era. As you can see, she comes with a wealth of experience, has pretty much won it all, uh, except for the World Cup so far. They came ever so close with the Lionesses, but um, from a defender to defender, Ali, she is absolutely quality. And she says Chelsea's a team that she feels she can add to on the pitch and off of it as well. Do you think that's probably what they had in mind is exactly how we were talking about Lindsay's, um, you know, leadership qualities that Chelsea probably had this in mind while they're trying to find their feet after Emma Hayes, that she can add that kind of experience and leadership too. Yes, yeah, she really can. She's a five-time Champions League winner. She's so experienced with the national team and uh, European champion. So obviously she's going to bring that immediately within the squad. Um, she can be a leader in the back line. And, and I know she's really close with Sonia and Camille because they've obviously played together. And Sonia was, you know, a coach um, in Lyon for, you know, taking over the team now and, and inviting her to want to come. That's first and foremost from a player to already feel appreciated and valued from your coach and wanting, you know, you to to show up and, and play and uh, within the team. And obviously coming back to England, you know, uh, her home country, I think is refreshing, especially, you know, as you get older, you want to, uh, as a player, you want to come back to, you know, your country and perform in front of your own fans. And, you know, after being away, possibly from home for uh, a few years now. So I think she's going to be such a great asset and it's going to be enjoyable for a lot of the U.S. fans to see her play. I think um, Gotham plays them on the 19th yeah. Monday night uh, here in, in New York. And so it's going to be really exciting for fans all over the world to kind of see a player of her caliber really perform well. And she's right. You know, Chelsea has been in a position to win the Champions League, you know, a handful of times. They just have to get across the line, like she said. And I think she can be a player to help them do that. And I think a lot of the other players, knowing that, that she will be within the team, will look to her for that motivation, but also feel that confidence um, that they can and are fully capable of achieving that goal. I wonder if Emma will go to that game. That'd be interesting if she shows up to go watch Gotham against Chelsea, see some of her old girls maybe up against some of her new girls. Uh, but speaking mm -hmm. of which, we'll get to see a bit of that clash um, in terms of US women's national team that will go up against um, 
the England's Lionesses later in November. And I know that Ali, Ali, I heard you're coming. Is that, is that what you were telling me? You're coming, Do you right? have a room? Do you have a spare room? I, I have I'm a ready spare to go. We, we, need to, we just need to talk to our boss, Mickey Mouse, and others. And I think we should do football, <laughs> W, from the terrace at Wembley. We're going to manifest it in the uh, true cheetah girl nature. <laughs> yes, we're sneaking it into existence, okay? We're sneaking it into existence. USA, England Lionesses, November 30th. It's going down here at Wembley. And hopefully, Ali and I will be down there uh, too. We'll bring Sebi as well. He needs to get out of his house.